To create a new type of VR experience that transcends typical polygonal models, we have created a system to capture and render animated stop-motion characters for a real-time virtual experience. Our system captures a ring of 360 images for each frame of an animated sequence and is integrated with DragonFrame to allow animators to time scrub and determine best poses. We then employ image-based rendering techniques. In this case, we billboard left and right images that follow the user and correspond to the correct horizontal camera angle for each eye. The results are surrealistically captivating as they maintain the high level of geometric detail and surface reflectance properties of the rich handcrafted puppets. Specular reflection, iridescence, subsurface scattering, even the apparent geometry from a thread of yarn can be seen. Our pipeline is computationally very light and has been integrated within Unity 3D. Stop motion artists can quickly create rich models that are easily dropped into traditional virtual environments running in real time. An important result of this work is experiential. We have found that these rich renderings create a magical place that immediately surrounds a user. We call this place Near Field VR. This result correlates with findings in perceptual psychology. Users make sense of space through multiple cues including occlusion, parallax, texture gradients, and material properties. Because virtual reality allows for lateral head motion and stereoscopic vision, rendering techniques must pay attention to visual details which inform these perceptual mechanisms, many of which are at their strongest in the near field. These metallic test blocks highlight the perspective distortion which occurs due to mismatch between the capture camera's position and that of the moving user. The left block uses viewpoints that are behind the user. The right block employs rebend horizontal pixels to synthesize the correct camera viewpoint. Note the incorrect vertical parallax and the perspective difference on the deep holes. But if we leave behind these oppressively Euclidean blocks for organic shapes, the distortion is less distinct. The difference between the simple texture model on the left and the rebind model on the right is only noticed upon close inspection and is primarily felt as a form of stereoscopic flatness and a shortened nose, more subtle than we had expected. There is a trade-off between accurate light field rendering and system performance. We are working to determine the relative importance of different cues for the experience of VR. Hand tracking can be used to reach out and hold these image-based puppets. The feeling is strangely intimate, and that is the power of near-field VR. It leverages a user's personal space to provide an experience of perceptual intimacy. This intimacy demands the specular reflections, iridescence, subsurface scattering, transparency, and fine geometric details that image-based techniques provide. The technique has artifacts that we wish to address by implementing vertical parallax, flowed fields, and relighting, yet our current results indicate that simple, angularly dependent textures, coupled with organic stop-motion art, can play a role in the design of virtual environments. The pipeline provides a compelling subset of visceral cues often missed with polygonal representations, yet is very kind to the GPU. In the meantime, we enjoy walking around our menagerie of characters that tap near-field perception to algorithmically bring life to graphically rich, nuanced characters. But wait, there's more! We have developed a unique redirected walking toolkit which enables the exploration of the entire menagerie in a small physical space, like a living room or even on a stage in front of hundreds of computer graphics enthusiasts. First, we place waypoints near areas of interest that we wish to sequentially visit. We then plug in the dimensions of our walkable tracked space, set perceptual thresholds, and load the experience. As the user begins traveling from one point of interest to the next, our algorithm injects translations and rotations that cause the user to walk on a real path that is different from the perceived virtual path, effectively compressing real motions to a given bounding box. Our system is unique as it dynamically optimizes parameters among multiple redirection techniques based on the user's real path. Near Field VR relies on cues that are not only visual but also body-based, including proprioceptive and vestibular. Natural walking is key to retaining these physical cues while moving through a virtual world. Our redirection toolkit preserves the experience of near-field VR by enabling natural locomotion of large virtual worlds.